All right, so in the last video, we went ahead and created our navbar component. Now we're going to move on and create the Jumbotron component. All right, so let's go to our app folder, and then in components, we're going to create a new folder called Jumbotron. Okay, and just like with the navbar, we're going to create a file called jumbotron.component.ts. And while we're at it, we might as well create the HTML file as well. So jumbotron.component.html. All right, and then what I'm going to do is just copy what we have in the navbar component and paste that in the jumbotron TypeScript file. All right, first thing, let's go ahead and change the selector to Jumbotron and the template URL. Okay, the class name. Now we're going to have a few properties here. Okay, so first one will be the heading. So we're going to call this uh, JBT for Jumbotron heading, which will be a string. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Next one will be JBT text. Okay, then we'll have JBT button text. And then JBT button URL. Okay, and then the constructor, I'm going to change that to JBT heading. For now, I'll just use an empty string. Okay, this one will be for text, button text, and button URL. Now for the content, um, let's go ahead and go to at that bootstrap template source code and we'll grab this div with the class of Jumbotron. And we're going to paste that in our Jumbotron component HTML. Oops, what did I do? All right, and then we're going to pick out the text that we need. So for the H1, let's just replace that with uh, double curly brace and then JBT heading. Okay, and then we'll go paste that right here. Next, we have the text. So we're going to grab this, okay, copy it, cut it out, and then we'll say JBT text, and we'll paste that right here, and then for the button text, we'll just say read more, and for the URL, we'll say HTTP test.com, all right, and then we'll just add those here so the link or the URL will go here this will be button URL and then for the text that'll go there save that okay save that now if we go back and reload we're not going to see anything yet because we need to go to our app component and let's import it okay and let's see we're going to add it as a directive right here And then we're going to put it as a directive right here. All right, let's save it. And there's our Jumbotron. Now the space right here, uh, that's there because the, the nav bar has some margin on the bottom by default. So I'm going to just go and get rid of that. We'll go to our style CSS. And I think it has a class of just navbar. 
We'll set margin bottom to zero. Okay, let me just look at the HTML and CSS. So navbar margin bottom zero or margin bottom 20 pixels. We want to change it to zero. Let's say important. There we go. Okay, so now that's closed up. Now we're also going to have a home page and an about page, but these are going to be components themselves. All right, and then we're going to create the router so that we can switch between the two pages or the two components. All right, the router will will do in probably the next video, but let's just get the home and about components set up. So in the components folder, the way I'm going to structure this is I'm going to create another folder called pages. And normally you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't have static pages like this as a component, but I just want to demonstrate how this all flows together. So let's go ahead and in pages, we're going to create a new file called home dot component dot TS. Okay. And then we're also going to have an HTML file for home. So component dot HTML, and then we'll create an about dot component dot TS and also an about dot component dot HTML. All right. So in our home component TS, I'm just going to copy what we have in our main app component. All right. And then actually, no, let's copy what we have in the nav bar. Okay, and then we'll go back to home component TS and we're going to change some stuff. Uh, the selector will change that to home Our template URL change that and then the class name will be home component. Okay, and we don't need to have anything in here actually just get rid of that. All right, and then we'll copy that save it and let's go to about component TS and we'll paste that in and just change some stuff the selector template and class okay save that okay and then we want to go back to app dot component TS and make sure we include those Okay, so this one will be home and make sure we have the path, which will be components, pages, home dot component. And then this one here will be about and that'll be components slash pages slash about. All right, and then we're going to also add them as directives. Okay. Now I'm not going to put them in here yet because we're going to be using the router to switch from each component. So let's just save it. Make sure we have no errors, uh, which we do. Home component is not defined. Let's see. Where did I put that? Oh, right here. Okay, so no errors. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the Angular 2 router.